Hi, I'm Jason Webb. Um, we're at Risebridge Farm, home of Australian horse training. And we've just been teaching this little guy to lead, and the next process will be to teach him to tie up, which I'm just about to show you. If you just take a look at the foal, I still have the equipment on that I would use to teach this little guy to lead. And from here, I lead him up to, the, to my tie pole. This is what I use to teach horses to tie to. I've got tyres down around the bottom to protect their legs. And this pole here, which they can move around should they wish to. Now I'm going to tie, them, tie this, tie this uh, little fella to the, uh, to the pole here. Now I use a bowline knot. Notice no string. Okay, because I don't want him to learn to break string and I uh, think he can do that. I want him to learn. Once he's tied up, he has to stay tied up. Okay, but I've got all... Important to, to reiterate, he is taught to lead. So if he was to pull back or anything, he already knows that pressure on his pole means come forward. And if he needs a little bit more persuasion, I can give him a little tug on this to get him to come forward. And he'll very quickly learn, especially at this age, that once they're tied up, they're happy to be there. So I use what's called a bowline knot. And I'll tie him with about... I only want about two foot of rope this little guy. I don't want to tie too long because otherwise they can get their foot over it and uh, just make things a little bit awkward. Um, so there he is tied up and I might give him a little pull forward and he can start to walk around the pole. Okay. Teach him what he can do. There he goes. Okay. I might do one the other way. where he is for. Notice when he steps forward, I release the pressure. There he goes. Good boy. Okay, that's very good. And now I'll leave him there to stand. He may get a little impatient and pull back in that a little bit but he knows how to come forward now, he knows his way around the pole and he'll very quickly learn to stand at the centre and he'll tie up for the rest of his days very happily. Uh, if you don't know how to do a bow line, I'll just show you quickly how it's done. And uh, the reason I use a bow line is because the knot doesn't pull tight, so therefore I can always undo it should I need to. First we put a loop in the rope which is connected to the pony or the head collar. There it is there go down through the loop so as you can pull and the loop stays there. Okay. Then you simply go over the rope and back up through that loop and pull. And there is your bow line.